of you. Myself, Dr. Indrani Ghosh, Assistant Professor in uh, Environmental Science under the Department of Chemistry. And uh, it is really overwhelming uh, for us. We are really happy to see that uh, there are so many booming, um, you know, budding environmental scientists and uh, who are very much interested to know uh, what are the different options uh, after completing your career or your degree in uh, environmental science. So as uh, rightly Dr. Banerjee has pointed out that for environmental scientists, I mean, the, uh, I mean, a person with having a degree in environmental science, uh, very rightly he can, he or she can opt for government job. There are several options and he has very nicely discussed about that. I am not again um, uh, entering into that section. Rather, what I will uh, like to take you to the opportunities available in private sectors. So there was a time when uh, green jobs were considered as a niche of the broader economy. But if you see today, environmental careers are a major force in the job market. And every industry, say it from government to uh, private sector, they are looking for workers with sustainability know-how. So therefore, uh, the businesses also nowadays, you can see they are more towards uh, sustainable business, business practice. Okay, they are recognizing the value and the necessity of uh, acting to protect environment. So it's not about just to, to have some uh, uh, product or manufacturing and uh, just forget about what are their impacts on the environment. This is not the business as usual as it was supposed to be in last uh, couple of decades. So the need of the environmental professional are definitely have increased. And uh, if you look at few articles uh, in current times, so they are, uh, I mean, there is a very positive indication of requirement of environmental professionals with experience in uh, environmental science code domain. So there was also a trend like, you know, the people from, uh, since it is an interdisciplinary subject, so uh, people from various backgrounds, say from having a degree in other subjects like chemistry, zoology, um, uh, even uh, geology, many, many uh, more, they could, uh, uh, they could um, enter into this particular environmental field. But as the specific, uh, you know, the specialized, having the specialization in environmental science degree, that uh, number has been increased. And in many universities and colleges, they have started their courses. The demand for the professional who have, were having this core knowledge on the environmental science or engineering is in a boom. So just uh, give me a few seconds to share my presentation with you. I hope uh, it will be very uh, interesting and even uh, more of that, it's very informative for you. Because when I was a student, many things I didn't know that yes, if you don't go for a government job or if you are not interested for research, um, you could also have some other options that you can explore. So. Uh, I thought this will be a helpful for the students who are pursuing uh, BSc or MSc in environmental science. So just a minute. Screen is visible, I guess. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, thank you. So basically, um, so in very just, uh, uh, full screen. Is it fine now? Yes, yes, thank you. Okay. So as in the government sector, similar to government sector, there are a plethora of opportunities. I'm not making it, you know, actually uh, not uh, quoted, unquoted, not exaggerating it, but it's actually. So some of the, uh, but yes, to achieve the, that opportunities, uh, definitely the roadmap or the path is also uh, not very easy. But you need to know, you, may, you have to make yourself capable to achieve that. I hope I'll, I'll be able to uh, highlight on that part also, that how you can make yourself capable for a job in private sector. So there are, after you achieve a degree in environmental science, so there are uh, several avenues that you can actually explore uh, depending on your interest and as well as uh, uh, the, the, the area that you want to explore. So the first of all that probably all of you know, uh, mostly you know that 
it is probably the job of a uh, after getting the degree the job is probably as a to join as an environment analyst okay environmental analyst so who uh, monitor the quality of uh, air water soil uh, and uh, particularly uh, in some uh, area uh, where there is you know especially for the industry where they want to uh, check they want to uh, keep eye on that whether their uh, manufacturing of their product or release of that byproduct is having any impact on the environment so there is a need for environmental analyst is uh, in, in more of the most of the industries it is there environmental scientist is little more diff uh, i mean not, it's not exactly like a analyst they are often uh, known as technician environmental analyst or environmental technician are uh, pretty much uh, uh, very similar kind of job profile the others are environmental scientist or engineer so whoever completing msc in environmental science or bs uh, is mostly requirement is uh, msc so they can uh, they are uh, joined as i mean they are uh, actually taken as environmental in the environmental scientist position and there is also uh, people who are uh, completing environmental engineering in uh, btech in mtech in environmental engineering so environmental scientist job is not only just uh, that monitoring Part, but they are associated with the technology de development. So there are newer technology development and as well as uh, uh, the know-how of the ETP operation, the actual problems that the industry face is very different. So actually what we study in our Metcalf ID books that if you this do that and these things, so this will, uh, this much will be removal will you will achieve. But as I have talked to many of my friends and colleagues who are there in industry, the challenges are very different in the industry. So it's very much uh, required to have that fundamental knowledge, firstly, uh, about that op uh, operation and uh, the technologies and uh, the exposure in the industry. And uh, that is also needed, which that's why, uh, why there is industry internship is one of the part in our study. And I think it is also there in many uh, other programs also in other universities and colleges. So that is very important to know actually uh, what exactly happens in industry, how a reactor works and how like uh, how this activity slush looks like. So all of those things, if you can achieve or if, if you can get that ex exposure during your uh, uh, studies, you know, uh, when you're doing bachelor's or master's, that's very important because you already have some idea about that. Uh, yes, it actually, the things are not so simple. It's very complicated. And you get that practical experience, which help you further to uh, get into that job and uh, that even create your interest to join that job. There are uh, uh, probably I cannot explain all the job profiles, but just uh, have, uh, I mean, I'm taking a few more time to talk about the other job profiles. Like uh, there is a very much, uh, you know, the, the market is very high for sustainability uh, professionals. So all the business, most of the business having their sustainability cells where uh, although the people is not um, only that environmental science people are absorbed there from many backgrounds uh, uh, they are uh, i mean they, they get absorbed but there is a high requirement or there is a priority for uh, students candidates who are having a degree in environmental science because they have much better idea about sustainability because as we know sustainability is not the environmental sustainability it is it is social economic and environmental sustainability so in these three domains are there and environmental science people they understood they uh, they, they they actually study those uh, three domains very closely during their studies so there is definitely the demand is high for uh, environmental science professionals who want to go for uh, sustainability practitioners there are consultant, environmental cons consultant job. There is uh, EHS professional is another one that is environmental health safety professionals. So that is also after pursuing environmental science in MSc mostly, uh, you can go for that EHS, EHS professionals. But I will come to that point later that only environmental science degrees are uh, not sufficient to exactly go into the EHS professional. There are some more, uh, you know, uh, uh, you can say like more, uh, achievement or more qualification you need to achieve there are uh, legal works definitely all the uh, companies having their legal uh, unit where uh, environmental legal uh, units so where they need for they look for in, environmental people having the uh, know-how of environmental rules and regulations ecologists all of you know there is a demand in the uh, government sector as well as private sector the companies like arcades like uh, acom they look for ecologists 
waste management officer is uh, is is another uh, uh, very uh, interesting area and very much uh, you know many of these companies they work for this uh, waste, man waste management sector and they look for uh, the people having the full knowledge on this waste management practices there are job job profile like uh, project manager uh, other than that if you don't want to do anything but you you write very well and you know that writing how to do this you know uh, technical writing scientific writing what what I, what we say so even you can go for the career as science writer. There are a lot of companies who look for science writer, good science writer. So who uh, even good at that and you want to pursue a career in that. So uh, environmental science, uh, after completing environmental science, you can uh, particularly go for environmental science writer or science writer in general. Conservation officer uh, is a requirement is mostly in the government sector, but there are also few NGOs and private company who's who uh, who is looking for conservation officer. I request all of you to please mute yourself. So there are uh, I mean I cannot go uh, very much about very details about the job profile of each of this, but I hope I could give you some idea about that. There are a lot of opportunities available in the private sector. Now, if I just uh, give you some idea about what are the Salary. I'm very sorry, my daughter is also with me. So, yeah. Uh, it's a Saturday, so I know for uh, many of you also, it's uh, a little, uh, you know, uh, being in with the families. Uh, sometimes you have to give the priority, and she's so small that I cannot really let her go away. Okay, so the salary, uh, if you see the average salary. So this is uh, taken from some uh, authentic uh, website. That is the, the link as I have given. So the average salary I can uh, see like, since again from, uh, I mean, I have done a lot of study with the, the friends or colleagues they are working in the industry. So the starting salary is, uh, if it is, even if it's like considered the, the lowest end, so it is uh, something around 3.5 uh, per annum. So starting from that, and as uh, experience is very much required for environmental scientists. So uh, as you experience more, even you, uh, uh, okay, I think there has been hello? some, yeah, yeah. Fine. So Thank even uh, if you see at the, uh, the highest scale, uh, there is actually no limitation. So as you get more experience in the industry, so uh, there is a good, good uh, uh, increment in terms of your salary. So, but, but it's not about, uh, as, a, as also Dean Sir mentioned, that we as environmental scientists, it's not about the salary. If that was the point, then we could even go for, you know, there are many other uh, subjects and, uh, which is very much job oriented, and which we could even earn more. So that is not only our uh, concern that having a very good salary, uh, but yes, we have to also arrange for our bread and butter. So, so in that in that way that there are there are it's not like uh, you know that uh, the job market is not uh, it's it's actually in a very good shape and it is actually increasing uh, in the coming days. It's going to be increased in in terms of environmental job profiles. It is going to be increased in the coming years. Uh, why my slide share is not working. Uh, why my slide is not moving suddenly? Okay. So um, it has moved, right? Then uh, can you see the next slide? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes. okay. So uh, for the students, so you may have uh, already thinking. So what exactly the employer look for into into uh, a candidate who is uh, who has applied for that particular job position. So uh, for you, it's very important to know that you know you uh, it's it's an interdisciplinary subject, and you learn a lot of things from your semester one to your fourth semester. If it is a MSc degree, you learn a lot of things. Uh, there are several uh, you know I mean like several number of theory papers and practical papers. But at the end, 
exactly what you remember. That is very important. And yes, you may have not have. I'm telling you that you know, being us um, in, in, in your in your undergraduation or post graduation, our subject is so interdisciplinary that each and every student they don't exactly uh, manage to remember or each and every aspect of the subject. So is there any key that at least which part I should make myself prepare before I go for an interview? Yes, so based on my uh, experience and my uh, discussion with the people in the industry, so what they exactly look for? So they are there are two things. One are the core knowledge, that is your domain knowledge, where they usually not, they ask you just uh, tell me right now that uh, what is Cipher Phelps equation or what is uh, Kerman Cosen equation. They don't start from there. So what they want to look into that do you really know the basic? Do you really and and you will be under you will be surprised to know that even students uh, forget at their final year or when they are facing the interview that uh, uh, you know. They even sometimes forget the definition of COD or BOD, what it is, what is their relation. Such basic understanding uh, is, um, is lacking as, as the employer has uh, said. Okay, so this is something that you, you must uh, inculcate, you must uh, know that basics, that fundamentals of those environmental analysis part, environmental uh, engineering calculations, that is calculations for say, uh, continuous plug for, plug for reactor design. So those basics, fundamentals, the understanding of the problems related to effluent uh, treatment, or the uh, fundamentals of solid waste management, air pollution, current environmental issues. They also look for us that how much you are aware, aware about the current environmental issues. So that means if you are not interested, it is, it's, it's a something uh, negative impression like, you don't know anything about what is happening around and you are uh, looking for a job in this field. So it's a very negative indication that you don't know about the current issues as well as some of the you know, previous, the very, uh, I mean, the very discussed or contradictory uh, issues in the environmental field. And also some knowledge about, I mean, not some, but pretty much good idea about the environmental rules and regulations. So these are the few things uh, I have listed. But this is the mostly the part where the employer, they, uh, they want to um, uh, see that the candidate at least have this much idea about their domain. Okay. So, so is the core knowledge is all. Definitely the core and, and the domain knowledge is the first thing that they look into. But at the same time, you may have very good, uh, you know, very, you, you have like, you have actually uh, um, completed or like you have, you have uh, achieved that expertise in your domain. Okay, you have, you have completely learned a lot of things and you are very good at that. But yes, for a private job, that is not the last uh, thing that they will look for. So they will also try to understand about different skill sets okay they will try to look into the, what are the other skill sets you have achieved during your education so definitely having a degree in environmental science and the knowledge in the core domain uh, in the in the domain knowledge is uh, very important but at the same times nowadays skill set is something is very important that private especially in the private sector job they look for so a uh, few of the skill sets that you already know that communication skills is the first thing that if you are unable to communicate properly uh, with the with your you know as they say their client so it is not as something um, definitely it, it, it achieve with practice but at the same time they so they see from the beginning that how much you have already developed and definitely you are going to develop more and uh, computational skill there is some mistake computational skill your presentation skills they look for uh, your ability for critical thinking uh, they also look uh, for your ability for organizational skill time management so all these things you basically unknowingly you do during your uh, uh, during your you know uh, study when you do many teamwork, right? So you you already uh, practice. Uh, I mean unknowingly you do have this practice when you do the teamwork and you organize many event, workshops, seminar. So and you also uh, get trained for 
you know having uh, or, or presenting in a good in a very good effective presentation computational skills already we achieve at least in our university we also give emphasis for all of this uh, you know uh, some of the skill sets that industry look for uh, along with the domain knowledge uh, uh, i mean distribution or share okay so uh, what else so if say like you have you have already managed to impress the employer okay so your domain knowledge is good you have also required skill sets now if you have in addition to that if you could could have this extra or this additional feathers on your crown as i said so some of the certification courses okay so nowadays uh, it's very uh, it's very much uh, you know it's this uh, i mean there are many uh, authorized bodies who offer these certification courses which we did not do during our studies but we later do when we actually came you know joined as a faculty but you can do that uh, yes there are certain course fees but it's worth to pay because this certified uh, this certification like lead auditor course for uh, iso 40001 2015 and iso 45001 2018 or like lead auditor training for energy management lead queen associate so there are several several i just listed few so there are several uh, certification courses which are um, uh, which are very well accepted for uh, for the for the industry there are not only the certification courses on uh, this part i mean on this um, uh, auditing part but also the certification courses are now you also can uh, do in many online um, uh, portal platforms like uh, coursera linkedin learning so those things try to explore as much as possible and make yourself more and more uh, uh, what i say effective uh, or uh, suitable uh, for a private sector job if you are really looking for so uh, i think i have been a little late uh, in my presentation and sorry for that but i really wanted to uh, uh, show you a few you know few things that probably i don't know you, whether you have came across ever Okay, so there are, these are some of the uh, uh, job openings um, I have taken from several uh, job search engines. You must be knowing uh, that uh, there are Nogli.com, there are LinkedIn, uh, many, many uh, search engines are there. And these are few of the jobs that those are listed. And these are the, the company or employer uh, who, ex who actually absorbs the professionals uh, or, the, or the person having this environmental science uh, degree and uh, other skill set. Okay, so these are the, um, I mean, many are the dream companies for many of you, I, I, I guess so, at least I had, but I really did not try for private sector job because I was interested more for research, but these were my dream job companies if I, you know, went to uh, go for a private sector job. And many of my friends, um, they actually have, uh, they joined that in those uh, industries. Okay, so um, the other thing is very important is the networking. Okay, so nowadays, if you are uh, simply, I'm very frankly speaking, not good at networking, so you are actually uh, lacking behind. Because, you know, many things, many ideas, exchange of ideas uh, uh, is, that happens during networking. Uh, sometimes we think that we are much, uh, I mean, we are very much qualified and we know everything. But when you do that uh, networking with that right uh, person, you actually understand that. We need to know or we need to grow ourselves more we need to enrich ourselves more okay so those things uh, that actually happens in the in, in an effective professional networking so the last thing i would like to uh, say you students that believing in yourself is a secret to success okay so starting from whether i can do it to i can't do it i want to do it one day you can reach that yes i did it but did that for that you along with that uh, you know uh, studying well uh, bringing those skill set in you having many certification courses but above all you need to believe on yourself that yes you can do that so with this i will like to uh, thank you uh, all the dear participants and if you have any questions you can write in the chat box or you can directly unmute and ask any of us if you have questions for any of us Thank you.